two, one, charge! Usual action to start autonomous. Everybody moving. Three red robots into the courtyard. Bare Metal trying to, to make their shot. They've hit it once already. Will they be able to do it again? They're in position. The shooter is up. The wheels are spinning, and it is good! Ten-point advantage for Blue heading into the teleoperated period. Blue had that same 10-point advantage in the last match and were not able to hold on. 13-18 up and good with the high goal. 1983 finds the low goal. Apex does the same, and it's 40 to 37 now in favor of Blue. 28-11, the Stormbots back into the Blue Courtyard to work against the Red Alliance scoring. And Bear Metal, a little bit of trouble with the moat, but Apex pushes them through. No problem, the Blue Alliance working well together. Stormbots trying to hassle the IRS, but they're in position to put another high goal in, then flying over the rock wall with reckless abandon. Bear Metal in position to shoot for the Red Tower. They are up, and it is good. Five more points for the Blue Alliance, makes it 54 all. Even score as we come up on 90 seconds remaining. 1983 holding on to a boulder. They go back under the low bar. That defense has now been disabled. 1318 going to take a low goal for the Red Alliance. 1983 going to try to do the same. Looks like 1318 having a little bit of trouble getting their boulder three. And it's 64, now 66 to 61 in favor of Red. Both alliances well on their way to a breach. 5803 over the rock wall, disabling that defense and drop a boulder in the low goal. 2046 going to take a crack at the moat. They are through. Looks like they're going to shoot for a high goal as they usually do. IRS goes through, trying to gather a boulder. 2046 up and good. 98 to 68, now 103 to 68 in favor of Blue. They have completed their breach. Red has not yet. 13-18 back collecting a boulder, 28-11 giving them trouble, but 13-18 is going to try to find their spot. 20-46 good as Skunkworks heads back and works on defending the Blue Alliance robots as we had 40 seconds remaining. IRS in, 24-11 tries to handle the Sally Port, that is good, and it's now a 10-point lead for the Blue Alliance, both alliances having breached. 30 seconds remaining here, it'll be all about the boulder scores and the captures at the end, both towers completely weakened. Either alliance capable of capturing at this point. 1983 needs to get out until 20 seconds whistle sounds. 2046, now trying to climb. 1318 holding over the Cheval de Freeze. They're gonna see if they can pick up a few more points. It's still a 10 point lead for Blue. 15 now, 1983 stuck in the courtyard. Seven, six seconds left. This could be it. Four, three, two, one. Neither of the climbers able to find their way to the opposing tower. 5803 comes up just a bit short. 1983 stuck in their secret passage. A lot about to happen. We will sort out these final scores and we will get you your Philomath event winners in just a moment. Is this nuts or what?
Ladies and gentlemen, the final scores in for finals tiebreaker, finals match number three. At the end of the match, towards the end of the match, a G28 foul contacting an opposing robot in your own courtyard was issued to team 1983 of the Red Alliance. That foul results in a scale being awarded to the contacted robot, and thus team 2046 has been awarded a scale at the end of this match. With that, plus all other final tallies put in, the winners and your champions of the Flomath District event, the Blue Alliance! Congratulations to 